but um see I have practiced it very well <laughs> um, I guess the only reason I felt like I should start talking about it is in case somebody is also in this experience and this might motivate them to make a change but I was in a relationship with somebody who um, one day my dad said to me he said he's very hard on his things because everything in the house would break and my dad was always careful with his possessions he was like you know Saskatchewan farm kid so the stuff was you know kind of put on a pedestal which isn't always my way of thinking but he noticed the person that I was with was incredibly hard on their things and things were always breaking if you catch my meaning and the uh, and thankfully there was a uh, a podcast when I started making this record called Dirty John and I didn't think anything of it. I just decided to drive from Nashville back to Ottawa and I put on this podcast and by the third episode I was like, oh my fucking God, this is about me. And the day that I moved out and went back to my place and found my own place again and the house was still empty, there was nothing in it, I wrote this song. It was just, I had my guitar and it sounds kind of like a cliche, but it's true. And the best part of it was that, um, because the house was empty it was not filled with broken things but also my voice just resonated through the house and it was like this fucking war cry of like getting it all out so if this sounds familiar to you you might want to just look for the exit strategy <laughs> <laughs> 